well spotted. Let's go and check it out then. Well, this looks very sad, doesn't it? Yeah. The way it's lying there. Is that the boy? That's a little boy, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Legs are fine. His neck's broken, so there's going to be splintering of the bones there. And they don't eat the head now. No. Oh well, yeah, it's yeah. This has been hit. Its head. Its its skull is crushed. Another foot. Yeah. Feel... yeah. Oh, poor thing. Oh. One one of the indications I use for a, for a fresh roadkill, whether it's a pheasant or whatever, if it, if the eyes are intact and shiny, obviously we can't see that because they've gone. Mm -hmm. um, now it could be that a raven or something has come and picked them out uh, pretty soon after it died. I'm not quite sure about this one. It's worth checking to see if it is worth cooking. Just depends on uh, you know if the, if the guts have ruptured or anything, which will affect the, the meat. Get a bit more residential down here. I think there's a. Surely oh look, what's that? What's that over there? Oh, it's definitely cold. cold. Again, let's have a look at the eyes. No, they've been eaten out. Yep, the eyes have been eaten out. There's no maggots on it. It smells quite, quite gamey, but not excessively so. What do you think? It's got a bit of a pungent smell. In principle, it's worth checking out. They head back to Rob's house, but will the duck and squirrel be fit to eat? Seeing as we're not really sure about this one, it's really not worth the effort of plucking it. I'm just going to cut down the breast skin and just peel it like a glove, really. It's all feeling pretty intact at the moment. <coughs> <laughs> very overpowering. You need um, the smelling salts up your nose today. Completely uh, very strong. Oh, I'm quite accustomed to this kind of smell because I've, I've rejected lots of uh, pheasants and things in the past at this stage. It all looks pretty intact. See, I think that's all right. It's going to be quite gamey. Yeah. Yeah. Shall I hand it over to you? Yes, lovely. Very much. You know, when I see these on the side of the road, it's just wasted life, isn't it? Yes. So let's try and cook some, something delicious up with it instead of going to complete waste. Yeah, it looks lovely, Fergus. So something that didn't look promising at all, now it's looking quite promising. Yeah, looking very promising. Something you pick off the side of the road. Wasted, absolutely wasted meat. Shall I put it in this marinade? Yeah, and go straight in. And that's literally homemade blackberry wine. Oh, yeah, I'm quite impressed, really. It smells really good. Just leave that for 20 minutes to marinate off. And we start the squirrel. So have you eaten squirrel before? No, I haven't actually. I haven't at all, no. This would be a, a first for me. I'm quite looking forward to trying it. So what's the smell like? Doesn't smell at all. No. Very fresh. See when it's like that, it doesn't actually look like you're the little fluffy bunny in the tree, does it? No. <laughs> Straight down the centre. I'll give this a little pan fry just to seal it. Mm. And then we'll put that into a casserole. The joints in there. Well, I'm feeling really quite hungry now. Big moment. Big moment of truth. Rob's never even dreamt of eating roadkill. So, what's the verdict on the marinated duck? This is just beautiful, I think. Absolutely beautiful. Really works, doesn't it? Really tender. Mm. So I thought it would be a disaster with. Just taking that pungent smell, but I think you're right, it was just yeah. literally just coming from the bill, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Very nice indeed. Right, onto the main well, Made of the squirrel. Mmm. It's beautiful meat. What do you think it tastes like? It tastes like lamb. Honestly, yeah. it tastes like yeah, lamb. Yeah, that's what I thought. If you can't sort of win people over on the moral argument and the um, kind of logical argument. You can simply just win them over on the flavour if they're open-minded. Mm. Um, basically, I was a bit sceptical of the idea, thinking, is it going to work or can, you be, can we be, really be doing this mm. sort of thing? 
but this has completely changed my view, and I'd, I'd say I'd definitely, I'd love to eat it again. Yeah. Convinced by the flavour of roadkill, Rob's volunteered the Fleur as a venue for Fergus's feast and agreed to be the head chef for the night. But it was the first time I ever cooked squirrel around my house, and it was fantastic, the food. The flavour is beautiful, and they should call it a baba lamb, not a flightless pheasant. It tastes like baby lamb, it tastes like lamb. Our lives today are so full of sort of constraining regulations and laws and, and sort of boundaries that we haven't placed on ourselves, it's sort of kind of imposed. And to get outside in the country is to get away from all that and you can just, just feel the simplicity of it, just all those demands on you just kind of fall away. Next up, Fergus heads into town on a Saturday night to see if he can win over the drinking and fast food crowd. The first thing I've got to do is make people aware what they can forage and then hopefully taste like, you know, what real food should taste like. Tell them to ditch the pizzas and the McDonald's. <laughs> Good night, mate. Good night. Yeah, yeah, it's Yeah. What would you normally eat? I mean, do you eat a lot of meat anyway? I have a bit of the old burger and chips now and then. You say, like, you could know, have some pizzas and stuff like that. Well, it's okay, but I don't think it's as good as wild food. So, yeah, I'm trying to convince people to try Go. these things. Go. Unbelievable. Undeterred, Fergus stakes out the kebab shop. Oh, excuse me. Oh, would you mind? No. OK. Excuse me. I suppose you mind if I ask you a few words. Yeah, My sure. My name's uh, Fergus. Hi, pleased to meet you. Is that something you eat regularly? Um, probably when I come back out of the pub, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I, I don't know what, what, what that meat is. Um, it's supposed to be lamb, but I'm not too sure. I mean, are you kind of happy with, like, the kind of food you eat? And Probably not. No. But it's the easiest. Yeah. I would say the meals that I eat are more like, sort of like a packet, something that's easy, put in the microwave and do it for like a couple of minutes and it's okay. done. OK, yeah. Um, would you come out foraging with me to kind of learn about what's, what's there? Well, it'd be nice to know what's actually around yeah. in the area, I must admit, because I've lived here all my life. You'll be won over by the flavours, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you hope, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before they go foraging, Fergus finds out what okay. IT consultant right. Rob typically puts in his shopping basket. OK, you can see all the healthy stuff here, you see? So that's not really my cup of tea. These sort of things, like the burgers and things, they're already done. They only take 55 seconds to do. So I normally get a couple of those. E450, E500, E223, E325. Cooked beef. The next biggest ingredient, salt. The next biggest ingredient, sugar. Well, I do eat things like pizza. Any three for three pounds. Mm. You know, all the things that are really good for you that you should be eating yeah. and the things that are really expensive. But don't you think if everyone was eating um, quality, locally sourced, fresh food, the price would come down? Yeah, probably would. Mm. This is where you get your biggest selection of frozen foods. And have you, have you always eaten this way? Like, when I became single again, it was... I couldn't be bothered. When I come out, I just buy things for the freezer. And my freezer's normally full up and the fridge is normally empty. If I do want vegetables or anything, I, I can just chuck their like separate bags in there. And again, you can just do them in the microwave. <laughs> so this drives me mad. <laughs> There's bags inside, inside the, the bag, bags, yeah. and that is going to go inside another bag. <laughs> so are you done? I am. I am done. <laughs> it's like moths to a flame, really. You yeah. just can't help yourself. Or like flies to shit. <laughs> <laughs> For Fergus, his morning shop is a trip to the beach. We've just come down the road from the supermarket, mm -hmm. about miles drive, and already, look, there's some lovely edible things here. They're off to look for...